Well, good afternoon, tubes. How's she going? So, uh, just waiting around here, waiting for uh, my funeral to come in. Mr. Vaultman there's is here having a little sleep while uh, he's already got him set up, of course, and uh, he's just having a little snooze waiting as well. So, um, anyways, uh, that's about all we're doing right now. Uh, let's just head in the back here. I uh, did up a little painting uh, while I was waiting, you know, cleaned the plow all off and uh, gave her a paint job and a uh, uh, primer, sorry, not a paint job. I'll probably film the the uh, painting of it, but the primering, I thought, eh, we'll just get her done while we're waiting here. So we've got, uh, got her on the floor upside down and uh, the other side uh, sitting on is already done, so that's good. And uh, I only put... Uh, Oh, one coat on the back. I figured that's all she needed there, and uh, I put a um, hmm, fair good chunk on the front here. You can still see she's a little bit wet, and uh, we'll let her uh, we'll let her uh, dry up, I guess, over the weekend. And uh, Sunday, and then Monday, I guess we'll give her some some yellow. Now I know I've got some yellow here. And uh, I guess I'll use it. I, I don't know. I was thinking of taking a run up to the John Deere to get the official paint. You know, like the green is the official stuff here. And this is, you know, farming implement with a new JD yellow sticker on it. So I don't know. I got this stuff, yeah, but maybe I'll just take a little road trip there on Monday or something. Take the wife up for a, for a road trip. We'll get some, uh, you know, three or four hundred cans of the of the yeller for for it so um but anyways uh i got the atv all covered and uh, i was going to take her out for a for a for a ride there today too but uh when i looked underneath here uh let's see here get a bit of light going i looked underneath there i don't know if that's gonna do anything but you can see uh dark spot there there's a puddle of stuff under it now I don't know if it's leaked out of this or if it was from something else or or what so I looked underneath the machine like up underneath and it didn't look wet at all anywhere so pfft, unless it dripped perfectly through a hole in the bottom of the frame I don't know but uh, I kind of didn't want to take it out until I had a chance to look at the fluid levels and stuff and make sure like you know all the fluids and stuff are up and stuff and where they should be so but anyways uh, this is gonna take a bit to dry I guess and uh, yeah like I say we'll just leave her over the weekend and uh, probably uh, paint her up on Monday so just head out front here again see uh, if uh, any procession is coming Doesn't look like it and uh, Today I uh, had to do a bit of snow brushing, so that went out pretty good. Got a bit of crap scraped off the road, well not so much here because it's all icy. But uh, out where the people are driving and stuff, it's not too bad, so she uh, she cleaned up pretty nice, you know. It's actually quite mild today, it's uh, ooh, maybe one, two degrees, so it was actually sort of rainy this morning too but now it's kind of changing and cooling off a bit again and we're getting uh, some fine powdery stuff coming so but anyways uh guess that's going to be it for today uh can't think of anything else i gotta dig another one sunday for monday so that's why i want to paint that thing on monday and uh we'll uh get that ready to rock on monday so you know what I should do right now is uh, fire up this old weed whacker here. I gotta find somewhere to lay you guys down though, cause uh, uh, hold on a sec. Okay, don't move. Yeah, I like to fire these up, you know, every month or so, whatever, to keep them keep them good and stuff, right? So. Or some primer. I don't know if I'm in a shot or not, but I'm sure I got most of her. You'll hear it anyway. Turn on, choke, it's on.
screw the carb and you know out of the tank or whatever and uh, she's ready to rock so hopefully we got that on the film there and uh, yeah she fired up one pole man those uh, four mixed motors are pretty nice you know that sound neat too that's what I like about it that throaty bleh, four stroke two stroke cycle sounding thingy you know it's actually if you don't know about these it's actually uh, four stroke engine like it's got valves and stuff in it but it still uh, uses two stroke gas for lubrication so there's no actual crankcase still in it but it's kind of cool how they work anyways but uh, it's supposed to be really good on fuel which this one is it's uh, pretty impressive I can go uh, you know fair long way half throttle the whole way and I'm out of line before I'm out of fuel that's for sure I know uh, the older machines it used to be way different than that so it used to be out of fuel and half of the line was only gone out of the thing you know but yeah so it's pretty nice but um, anyhow I don't know that's about all I can harp on about today um, there's nothing happening but uh, funeral stuff so but anyways uh, you guys have a good one today and uh, I don't think there's going to be a Sunday mail day tomorrow I don't know what we're going to be doing if, if anything maybe I'll uh, say uh, see you Monday kind of thing you know and uh, we'll take tomorrow off but uh, anyways, uh, you guys have a good day and stuff, and uh, we'll talk to you uh, probably Monday.